Hi everyone, it's Ralph Klein and you're watching another Supernatural Review and this is Season 5, Episode 13, The Song Remains the Same. If you're new here, I do recap and review every single episode of Supernatural, so let's get into it. This is like actually like just a pretty okay episode, like it's very very okay, it's just like, like there's good things good about it and there's things that's bad about it. And so it's like very much in the middle. That's why I'm saying it's an okay episode. But I do have it on my like worst episodes of season five. And right now it's at the bottom of that episode and I'm kind of hoping it doesn't stay. Or I mean, it's on the bottom of the list. And I'm kind of hoping it doesn't stay on the list because it's really not a bad episode. But we're just like getting so good episodes in season five, especially at this point that it's like hard. And that's why maybe it does even have a little bit more of a negative connotation to this episode I you know maybe it's going to like the the bad side in the okay you know a little bit slanted just because we're at a time where there's so many good episodes that it's like comparing those it's just like this doesn't look that good so we've you know time traveled before I think it was season four I can't exactly remember when um and we've seen the mom and dad and so it's something like like this makes sense to come up especially at this point where it's like you know about the brothers and everything and like what they're gonna do like it makes sense for whomever angels and i guess angels are the only one who really can time travel you know to go back in time and like try to kill their parents like it makes sense and you know we had the parents in future before and i feel like there's something where they were always like wanting to you know use the parents again and like it makes sense like this episode makes sense i feel like maybe a little bit lacked in the execution it did fall under the more serialized side like compared to some other serialized episodes we've had like it's a little bit stronger but it's still like you know just felt so much about like the angel stuff where it's like I don't know personally like I'm getting tired of angels I don't want every single episode to be about the angels I don't want every single episode to be about the brothers in this situation and which is why it kind of upset me when I like watching this back and I'm like oh my god they revealed everything with the angels like so early on in the season like I wish they waited some more because then it would have had more of a dramatic effect and you would have had some strong concrete episodes that didn't have anything to do with angels but you know here we are so the whole thing with Anna like also didn't make exactly sense I think they were you know it's something where they left that door open too that we could see Anna again so I think they wanted to use her and so and like I understand why they wanted to use her but like you know they used her as like the villain they're like you know we have to have some kind of villain angel here we have Anna what if we have this thing and so they were kind of doing a little bit too long and explaining like why she's like going after them and like her orders and it was just like uh i think they were also trying to do a dramatic effect like she died in this episode i think right so is this the last time we see her i don't know they love to kill off the woman they also had uriel at one point because i think they just want another angel and so they wanted an angel that a name that we knew i guess i mean it was kind of nice to see them as a four in a family because before it was only dean who went back I don't know if I, what I said just now, four of the family made sense, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was only Dean who went back before, so it's kind of nice to see Sam go back. And it's kind of crazy, like, their dad's reaction to hunting and, like, the whole thing about, like, hunting and growing up. And even at one point, they said, like, you know, run, like, to marry, like, get away. Because um, they don't care if they were born, you know? They just wanted to care more about her, which is kind of interesting because then you wouldn't have been able to come back and say this to your mom, so it's like a loop effect or something but then it took too long for her to say like i'm pregnant because that's something i always remember is like this is the moment she's like i'm already pregnant with you <laughs> and it took too long to get there also okay so this is something i noticed so badly when they were like fighting the angels like they're being thrown and they like get up like it's nothing like you didn't break a bone like you're getting up like it's nothing it was kind of crazy also what kind of made me upset was also like the whole cast thing too like he was like kind of can get there but kind of credit and then it had that tall on his body and it's just like i'm confused about his angel powers and then we didn't really see him for most of the episode and then he comes back at the end but it's like how did he come back like how did he know what happened to that it's just like i'm like confused <laughs> i mean one thing that was great is like when michael possessed john and actually the actor which i'm forgetting his name now i think matt cohen actually do a really good job with michael and so it was kind of great to see like michael and dean talk like that was good to see and like Dean, Jensen's acting as Dean is also so, so strong. Um, and so it's kind of interesting for them to talk, but then he like saved Sam and you know, in that situation, you wouldn't think he would save Sam. So it's kind of something where he like wants Lucifer to take over Sam's body. I guess maybe that's it. Cause that's the only way he could end Lucifer if Sam's alive. 
maybe that's why he did it. So as you can see, I had things that I like and things I don't like about this episode. And yeah, it was a little bit more, I mean, it wasn't just a little bit more, it was a serialized episode. So, you know, I c compare um, and talk about those a little bit differently. And so, yeah, not right now it's on the worst list. I guess I only have two other episodes on the worst list. So we'll see what happens. But in the end, it's like a pretty okay episode. And so this episode's better than like, okay episodes in other seasons and it, this is just what it is but i think it was something where you know it made sense to do this episode maybe some things if they just the writers did them a little bit different it would have been such a much stronger episode but it is what it is and um it's so funny because i just watched back to the future and about to talk about that so it's kind of interesting how it's like back to the future of my parents but anyway so I'm going to end it here, but thank you guys for watching, like, and subscribe, and bye!